What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to G Myers World. And yes, we are back and we are ready to go. Um, we're going to be talking about reaching Mutt level 55 in about 28 days. A lot of you guys have been really following the videos and you're really starting to understand the way that the field pass works. Uh, for those of us that know, uh, Madden 24 uh, is going to still have the field pass system in it. So I think it's very important that we understand what's going on as far as what you need to do and what has to happen in order for you to be able to get these uh, free content, free items in the game. All right. I don't, a lot of you guys made rookie mistakes like grinding modes that you shouldn't have been grinding that did not apply to the field pass. So I just want to make sure I keep getting you guys geared up for it because like I said, it's, it's a very, very important deal and it leads us right into 24. Now, granted, a lot of you do not want to play this game anymore and I understand that. It, it makes you rage. I understand all of that, but I'm going to need you guys to be able to get certain items. All right. So why am I going crazy about reaching Mutt level 55 in 28 days? What's so important about it? Well, we just recently learned that EA Sports is giving us custom uh, strat cards for completing these things. Not only this one right here, but you're gonna be able to get uh, tokens and collectibles that you can change the team chemistry of any of the rookie premieres that you have. So you're gonna already have your theme team pretty much done before the year even starts if you're able to complete this. So I think it's pretty important to get that done. All right, so at the time of this video, we need 874,000 XP, and we're gonna go into right now how we're gonna go about doing that. So the first thing, like I said, the dailies are paramount. Why are the dailies paramount? Because of the daily tracker. Now, how am I getting to 28 days? 40 minus 12 is 28. So by the time we get to this, with all the other promos that they're gonna have dropping, we are gonna probably more than likely be maxed out by this point because they have to add other content into the game in order for us to get the XP that's needed to max out all the Mutt level. Now, once you get to Mutt level 55 in 28 days, there is no real reason to play the game anymore. At that point, I can understand. The reason that this is more difficult is because the last time that I was able to play a Madden all the way throughout, and, and I played it even when the other Madden dropped and waited, was Madden 25. Because that game was really good, and it was responsive, and it did, you know, your players did what they were supposed to do at that time. Over the last four, five, well, but probably six, seven years, the game has been unbearable right before uh, the new game comes out. So. This is just something that I'm trying to make sure that you guys get done simply because it's going to benefit you also in Madden 24. So with all this additional XP, make sure you're doing your daily objectives. For the daily check, I'm going to need you guys to write what number you are with the daily objectives. I saw a lot of eights and sevens and weird stuff before. I don't know, you guys are missing days. Remember, you don't have to worry about how long this takes. This will take you literally five minutes. You can just log in, do it, and get off. You go to a CP, uh, CPU mode, throw like three passes, get the 200 yards, open up, open up a pack, and then you buy you know, the 500 coin pack from the store, and you're done. You don't need to sit there and deal with this game. I understand that. Even if all you do are the daily objectives, you're still going to be able to benefit from everything else that's going on within the game as far as, you know, leveling up quickly. So with all of this XP right here, we know it's 28 days left as far as what's going on uh, with the actual field pass. All right. So where are we right now? We're at level 27. Tomorrow we'll probably get to about, I would say we could probably reach 29 or 30. Uh, tomorrow because we have a lot of XP that's going to be coming out of the competitive pass Which is what I'm going to show you guys right now and um, how we're going to actually be grinding that remember mold breakers are done But you're going to have two possible um, Well, uh, you know field pass items coming this Thursday We got a new promo and then we have rookie premieres as well So we're going to have other options going on So I want you to keep your eyes peeled on this channel Make sure you subscribe and you got your post notifications on so we're going to see exactly how we're gonna go ahead and grind that. Now, as far as the competitive pass goes, you're gonna wanna, like I always say, this is very, very important, and a lot of you guys get it. Some of you guys are still trying to understand it. This part with stats, you do not have to do in regular head-to-head. -head. Now, I have not played a solo battle yet, but I, you know, a dude stayed for a full game, I was beating the blood out of him, and then we had like 275 yards and he quit, and we got that done. And all this was done from playing head-to-head. -head. You do not need to do this part of the actual XP in head-to-head -head games, all right? Solo battles are just as well. If your level is not as high, you go and you do it on Rookie, get it done. I don't care how you get it done, just get it done. Because this right here is decent amount. Um, it's, what is it, like, it's 30 uh, competitive points and obviously you should do them weekly so that way you jump you know the levels pretty quickly don't don't waste your time though because people will make you rage 
uh, in head to head and some of you guys can't control yourselves and it gets real nasty, but you don't need to do all of that. I'm just letting you guys know, go to a solo battle, always make sure that these are done because they reset every Monday. And if you miss out on any of this, it's always bad. All right, another key point, solo battles, right? When you go to the bottom, this is one of our fan favorites right here, the six fumbles. You get that, where do you get it, all right? Rookie, solo battles. Dudes almost never fumble in head to head because EA Sports, ever since Pat Tillman was like not in the game anymore, like th this whole, like dudes don't fumble, dog. If you guys were around when Pat Tillman was in the game as the Mutt Master, let me know, write it in the chats, bro. You know what I'm saying, bro, bro write hero in the chat for Pat Tillman. Like, dude, I'm gonna tell you this right now. Pat Tillman, in the history of Madden cards, is probably one of the most goaded cards ever. And that's for the previous guys, like I've been, you know, on both sides of Madden. You know, the current state of Madden is like more for uh, players that are not as good. Back in the day, players had to be skilled. I don't really think that our skill level is the same because the game is like more robotic and the computer does more for you. Um, but Pat Tillman was such a good card that no matter what type of player you were, you appreciated it and you understood what he was. So ever since then, the fumbles have been toned down because he was an automatic fumble. And I understand that some of you guys didn't like it, but we played against it and we knew how to avoid it. Just lay down. Don't always go for the big run. It's sort of like when people played against Sean Taylor. They would just lay down and run out of bounds. Like he was trying to really just take you out of the game forever. And obviously going back, it, that's how violent the NFL was, but they've tried to make it a little bit more safe now. Um, but yeah, those are the things that I wanna make sure you guys understand because if you try to waste your time and you do all of these things that are statistical wise in head to head, you're gonna rip your hair out. All right, so the two point conversions I would definitely do in solo battles. Field goals, you're gonna get organically, whatever. The passing for touchdowns, depending on how you play the game. But the fumbles part, when you do the other ones, I would just say you do them all at the same time. The six fumbles, you do the uh, attempt the, tw uh, the 20, whatever, you got 15 more of that. You pass for 30 touchdowns, you kick the field goals. You know what I'm saying? There you go, 36 points right there, you're good. Everybody's good to go, all right? Now, once you do all of those things, right? You can go ahead and see where they're hiding the other XP. You get you get typically like 175 or something like that. I think that's usually what you get. Um, so it's not something that, you know, it's not overly crazy if you miss out on doing this, but it'll take you a lot longer to get to that, you know, the level 55, which is what we all want to be done with the game. Um, as far as Kurt Warner goes, that's not his arm. Do you see the way that arm is way bigger than his body? I don't know who did that, and I think it might be a joke. I don't know if you guys noticed it, but I was laughing hysterically when I first saw it. That is not Kurt Warner's arm, all right? I don't know what EA is doing. I don't know what they're on, but it doesn't really matter. The bottom line is that is not his arm, okay? So that's something that you learned also by watching this video today, okay? And then after you get to that level of, uh, you know, level 22, we stop. There's no other XP available, and we just, you know, we wait for the next week while we grind head-to-head -head seasons. All right, so those are some of the tips that I need you guys to follow through. It's very, very time efficient, so you know what you're working towards, and I think it'll make it a lot easier for you and be able to deal with the game for the next 28 days. I'm gonna see you guys and girls next time. You enjoy your day, stay well, stay blessed. Until next time, one love, y'all.